I was born in uh, the Netherlands. I was born in Mindanao. We had an awesome life. In 1940, the German army marched into Holland. The Japanese came ashore. We were put in trucks, went to the University of Santa Tomas. And we were sent to a SS guarded camp. The food was never enough. At 11 years old, I weighed 48 pounds. I asked my mother why was this man beaten with a shovel. About 500 people died from starvation. Ended up knocking on a recruiter's door. The only one that was open at the time was the Air Force and uh, came into the service uh, three days later. In my career, I just happened to uh, go to two wars. I was a naval flight officer, a backseater in F-4s. When I started my career as an ensign, I went through F-4 Phantom training and became a radar intercept operator. I was with the 196 Light Infantry Brigade F-2 Pit Cavalry. And I was on my seventh mission to rescue a downed F-105 pilot. Our mission was to place ourselves between where the MiG would be a threat to a strike group going into Haiphong Harbor. We got a call and the pilot was down. Security guard woke me up and handed me a 30-06 saying, VC, VC. And then he finally saw the target, so he pulled extra hard and down. And at that time, he lost control of the plane. We got taken under fire by a bunch of surface air missiles. One that we didn't see exploded over the cockpit. I looked up forward. He was kind of slumped forward in his seat, and I realized he was no longer flying that airplane. As we got there, we started to see the light, heavy ground fire. Ship got fire. I was shot twice in one leg. And it was getting ready to pull him up when we started taking hits. Next thing I know, we're on the ground. And I landed in a rice paddy, but he stopped shooting. Um, came sloshing through the water, Take, took me out of the water. And I tried crawling away from the aircraft. The helicopter was exploding, it was on fire. There were some loudspeakers asking us for to surrender. Came running in, saw me, and jumped on top of me. We were bagged at that point. 